What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the podcast where you learn anything about everything. That's not my slogan. Welcome back to Timeless. Let's get straight into this podcast. All right. A wada bing, wada boom, wada sh. Okay, today we're going to be talking about 22 pictures that remind you just how amazing people can be sometimes. Okay, it's important to know that you're amazing. So one, this mom, this woman, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This woman at Target jumped in to help a stressed out mom finish her shopping. Uh, here's the picture. Uh, as you can see, it uh, it looks stressful. You know, she's probably had a long day. And, you know, she, she's just helping out. Let's read. Let's read it out. Shout out to this wonderful, kind woman named Tiffany. All right. So Tiffany, she or G, uh, my two-year-old and my two-month-old were having both a meltdown at the same time in Target. I started putting this away on the shelf and there was about to leave when she came over to help. She walked with me while I got the essentials needed for the day and kept hold of my toddler while he calmed down. Dude, be more like Tiffany, okay? Also... Uh, she saved me today, moms. Let's go, moms. Love you, mom. My mom. She's a great mom. But let's go, moms. Also, uh, and so I sleep deprived. I'm so sleep deprived. I was running on empty. A little kindness and understanding goes a long way. I'll definitely be paying it forward if I see some poor mom in need of help. Thanks, Tiffany. You're an angel. And you know what? She's right. Tiffany is an angel. To go in there to to help the kids and the mom. The mom. That's the important part. That is so essential. So essential. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Very essential. Obviously, this woman was having a very hard day. She's sleep deprived. Okay? Which could be for many things. I'm assuming the kids, though. She's sleep deprived. She's running on empty. All right, and she's stressed out. You know, those are the three worst things to have and be in. And honestly, moms do a lot. So, Tiffany, if you're out here watching this, God bless you, man. Woman. God bless you, woman. You did, you did an amazing job. Two, this kind stranger found car keys in the grass and went above and beyond to make sure they were returned to their owner. Now, let me just tell you this. Okay, now I don't know where any of you guys come from. But if I find key, if I find car keys in the grass, what's my first instincts? Leave them there. I don't know actually. <laughs> if you find car keys, what are you gonna do with them? Find the car that goes with them. No. Okay. Um, it says Prego brain at its finest. Left my keys in the grass while at fireworks, and some nice stranger left my keys and this note on my car. Amazing, since there were a ton of cars in the parking lot. Oh my God, I am so grateful. These are her words, not mine. For this honest, nice, amazing stranger. I wish I could say thank you. And I was at the fireworks in Apple Valley. If anyone knows who did this, please tell them thank you for me. And says the note says here, you can you can see the picture. I found these keys in the grass and, and walked around pe- pre- pressing the lock button until I had the honk. Until I heard the honk. Uh, I hope you didn't send too much time looking. I hope you didn't spend too much. I'm sorry. I, I'm i not dyslexic. It's just like these per- this person just kind of wrote on a sticky note, so it doesn't look the best. But, anyways, you know, there's a lesson you can learn from that. These two football rivals found common ground with something pretty incredible. Now, it says, can you believe I took a kidney from a Patriots fan? Can you believe I gave a kidney to an Eagles fan? Now, that is amazing. If you ever get in this situation where someone's asking you to give a kidney, always do it, no matter the circumstance. Frankly, it can go a long way, and you don't really need it. So, money? This man on an airplane, number four, this man on an airplane helped a little boy with autism get through a long flight and then texted his mother to let him know he was okay. So we're going to look at this. Oh, okay. Well, the picture is um, blacked out, <laughs> but you can still look at it because this guy's amazing. Uh, he said, today my son took his first flight to Oregon to see his dad. I sent 
Landon with a letter to give whoever sat next to him saying he was high functioning autism so he might be nervous and ask you are we there yet a lot and please just make him feel safe and comfortable with ten dollars in the note this was just what I received I'm so grateful for this individual and their sort of and there are still kind people in the world who make a difference like try myself to do like I try myself to do as well. Thank you so much, Ben. Now Ben, my name is Ben. Okay. Oh. My name is Ben. I was Landon's seat neighbor for this flight to Portland. He did ask if we were there yet several times, but he was a great travel buddy. We had a good time and played a few rounds of rock, paper, scissors. He's a great kid and you're a lucky mom. Now I'm just saying, Alexa. Well, you have a you have a child, but if you are divorce or single and Ben is too I, I mean think about it that's pretty nice that's a pretty nice gesture just saying uh just trying to hook you guys up if you if you are if if you're happily by all means you know stay where you're at uh not asking anyone to do anything here okay um but if you're not then dude hit him up okay Ben you do the same thing man uh, I appreciate the $10, but wasn't necessary. Donated to Autism Society in org. Oh, that's nice. Okay, number five. Moving on. This cashier got a very sweet birthday surprise from a total stranger she rang up. Oh, my God. Look at the photo. Look at the photo. Mm, Snapchat. Always love that. Total stranger I served today, at yesterday at Target. Remember that I told her it was my birthday today, and she came back in the store and gave me $20 in Gloria Jean gift cards and gave me a huge hug. I love people. Honestly, I'd love people too if they did that for me. But right now, I don't like them. So, uh, number six, th these guys open up a lemonade stand with an adorable twist. What is it? Must say one thing you love about yourself. Now, that is cool. Moving on. Number seven, the person mentioned to the barista that they were having a rough day. And when their coffee was ready, they received this. I hope your day gets much better. Oh, dude, that's amazing. Coffee does wonders for people. I don't really like coffee. Number eight, this guy got a little ego boost from a stranger at the gym. So this guy's named Andy Day. He's verified, so let's calm down. Don't follow him all the time. The gym is a full of massive dudes today, and I was on the middle bench in between guys efficiently benching my body weight. Efficiently. That's important. At least he was efficiently doing it. Anyway, I'm doing bent over rows and set a new hey, 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 Okay, if you guys don't know what bent over rows are, you go like this. Boom. Okay, you know, my form's off right now because I'm standing on something. I can do it way better than that. But that's, you know, boom. Okay, you want to keep that 90. Okay. Um, a new PR, and I do a fist bump in the celebration. Then one of the massive dudes strolls over and fist bumps me. Dude, let's go. Honestly, you know what? Uh, I was talking to one of my friends, Grant, um, and he does a lot of weightlifting. And and I was telling him, I was like, it's really funny because these massive guys that are in the gym are actually like one of the friendliest people. Like they're one of the friendliest people ever. I think that I think my grammar is correct on that, but it is, and it's true, and it's funny, kind of. Um, <laughs> number nine, this anonymous person went out of their way to make a little kid smile. My son had parked his bike. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. That's actually pretty cool. But he, that guy, when he grows up, ego's going to be boosted. You know, this mom's going to have to... Ah, yikes. My son has parked his bike by the lamppost just about every day for the last school year. This morning, the sticker had appeared. Ashley made our day. People can be so brilliant. Thank you, whoever did it. You're welcome. I didn't do it, but... Number 10, ranking at the number 10 spot, this little girl baked a surprise for her favorite trash collector, and it, ended up, and it ended up meaning a whole lot more than she realized. Every Thursday, this is the thing, every Thursday this little girl gets so excited to stand out on the sidewalk and wave her favorite trash man. A few weeks back, she decided, one, she decided she wanted to make him a homemade muffin. To her great surprise, it just so happened that every Thursday she picked was his birthday. Oh. He said it was the only gift he received. The smile on her face is bright. Dude, that's amazing. Wow. That's actually, that's touching. I'm not going to make fun of that. That's touching. That's really cool. I feel bad for that guy. But good for her. I don't think she made it, though. So, I think it was the mom. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I don't think, 
you know what? Let's not trash it. Let's just move on, okay? <laughs> Number 11. This looks scary. This man received a heart from a young woman who tragically passed away and was able to let the woman's mother hear the, her heart beat one more time. Interesting. Not going to... I mean, interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Interesting. There's the picture. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. I just... Interesting. Uh, 12. These musk, muscly college guys volunteered their time to help anyone who helps feel unsafe to get to class. Uh, you know, good for them. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a more benefit for them than it is for anybody else. You know, I mean, think about it. If any girl feels unsafe... That's not fair. They can meet women any day, you know, of the time. But don't they have classes too? Or maybe there's just dudes. Maybe there's bros, okay? Maybe they're bros that sit on campus and are just there for security reasons. That's cool. They don't get paid though. So, I, so you know what the routine is? I know what it is. I know what it is. They don't have classes anymore. They already graduated. Um, they love being at college like every person does. You know, you party, you hang out, you do whatever. Uh, but this guy has a pizza tattoo. Wow. Anyways, uh, you know, they, they get to go to the dorms. They get to hang out. They get to do whatever they want because they graduated college, right? And what they do is they go to the gym and then they go to campus. And you know what? Matter of fact, I bet they go to the wellness so, dude, wow. Anyways, these guys are just not graduate. Are they gra What's going on? Sorry about sorry about that. Uh, they they graduated, but they just don't whatever. Um, number thirteen, the Hong Kong protester helped. The Hong Kong protester held up an umbrella to protect a journalist reporting this story. Interesting protest, but dig it. Good people, good person. Thank you, dude. Uh, this number fourteen, the Belgian family made friends. The the Belgian. I'm gonna say Belgian, but it's probably not. Made friends while traveling in the U.S. and they did something really special for them when they returned home. My wife and I were hiking in Nashville, Indiana, and met blank 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 and his daughter on the trail. After taking, after talking for a while, we we found that they were from Belgium and didn't live far from my uncle's burial site from World War II. We exchanged emails, and when he returned home, he and his friends, he and his family visited the cemetery and placed flowers on his grave. I can't thank them enough. Wow, that's pretty cool. Number 15, this woman, this man in Nor Nordstrom brightened an old woman's day with a sweet compliment. What did he do? I just passed an 80-something-year-old woman in Nordstrom. She was looking in the mirror and said, I used to be young and beautiful, so I said, now you're just beautiful. Her smile, and she said, thank you. Truly made my day. Well, yeah, dude. Super Mark. Ah, what at ya? Did you get a number, though? That's the question. I don't think he did. 320 retweets, though. That's good. All right, number 16. The OBGYN was about to give birth, but then stopped everything to deliver another woman's baby first in the moment of crisis. Now, okay. What? How is that even possible? Now, from what I understand about women, <laughs> okay, is that you can't really stop a birth, can you? I mean, if that baby's coming, it's coming. What do I know? Wow. I mean, props to her, right? This is what she said. She goes, especially diversity as Dr. Amanda Hess was getting into her hospital gown to be induced to give birth. She heard nurses prepping a woman. Okay, so now see, this is different. This is fake. It's not fake news, but it was, she delivered the baby, but she wasn't going, she was putting on her own gown, so obviously she wasn't giving birth yet. I thought she was like mid-birth, like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. I hear help. I need to go. Which, you know, I don't think they would have done. But either way, props to you. You know, Amanda, Dr. Amanda, sorry. Uh, 
Good job. Number 17, this man used an app to help a blind woman pick out groceries. So I downloaded this app called Be My Eyes a while ago. You get FaceTime calls from blind people all over the world and help them with whatever task it is that they need help with. And I just got my first call and needed this and helped this lady pick out almond milk. Something so small made her day. Wow. I didn't even know you could do that. I kind of want to get it. That's cool. That's smart. I thought he made the app, though. But either way, I mean, dude, you did good. Um, Obviously, she found what she needed. And matter of fact, I get the same almond milk, except mine's vanilla and not, not unsweetened because unsweetened is disgusting. Moving on. 18, this grieving dog owner made sure there's lots of other pups had an amazing day at the park. A year ago today, I lost the best boy and a girl I could ever ask for. In his memory, enjoy some playing playtime with your pup and think of my teeth. Now I feel bad for saying it like that because that's actually really sad. It's a dog. Moving on. <laughs> 19, this person noticed some homophobic vandalism on the bathroom stall and in- intervened to make things right. <laughs> okay, now what's funny about this picture, guys, is look at this. So it says 720 blank blank and says I'm gay. And somebody texted this, this you. And the person responded, I didn't write it. Now he used the wrong write. Okay. But that is my number. Want me to cover it up, homie? I got you. I got a maker. I got a marker. Are these guys bad at spelling, or is he mean to do that? Could you please, bro? Yeah, bro. I got you. Twenty. This person was victim of a hit and run, but found a note on their dashboard from a stranger who had written down the offender's car's license plate and provided a link to the photograph proof. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. A car t-boned you and left. License plate number. That's actually dope. 21. This man received a small act of kindness from a gas station. He frequents He frequents every day after work. All right. Cord Coffee says, I go to the same gas station every day after work for beer and burritos. Good combination. Next. Today, when I asked for my burritos, the guy said, they're hot. I knew you'd be here, so I made a fresh batch. And that's one of the most thoughtful. Oh. Bleep that. Anyone's done for me in a while. That's cool. He's from Oklahoma. I should probably reread that. Not going to. You know, because I was going to do my Oklahoma accent, but I didn't want to offend anybody. Number 22. All right. And finally, this teacher got a very generous surprise from a total stranger while shopping for school supplies. Now remember, Space Cowboy. I'm going to read it. I went to Target today and I was buying all my student supplies for the upcoming school year. And I was pushing a cart full of massive amounts of stuff. And a lady stops me and says, are you a teacher? So I say yes. And she says, I don't care the price. I'll pay for all of it. Now that's amazing. You want to know why? Because I actually know that teachers do spend a lot of money on their own things. And then you know what? You get little kids that come in here or high schoolers or middle school or elementary and they wreck it. They wreck it. And it's their money on it, which frankly, I don't know why they're spending their money on it, but I think it's because of their budget and the school's budget. And it's like, it's not paying for all the stuff that they want, but so they want more stuff. So they go buy that stuff. And then it's their money spent on things that are getting destroyed. So people, next time you're in classroom, I know school's starting up. Don't look at me like that. Am I in it? No, because guess what? I'm out of it. Did I used to do some of that stuff? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Either way. Next time you're in the classroom and you ask for a teacher to borrow their pencil or their Kleenex or something like that, and I know I know people bring Kleenex too, be thankful, okay? Thank your teacher. Why am I giving you lessons? Remember, folks, humans can be pretty darn good to each other sometimes, and that is so true. So for this, for this week's podcast, you know, guys, just take that. You can be amazing, not me. Or I mean, what the? Why? How? 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 Remember, guys, this week's podcast. Take this, okay? You can be amazing. You can do amazing things. It's just if you do it or not. Global warming is a real thing, and I will see you guys next time on the week of the podcast, which is next week, which is next Tuesday, which is the something. I'll see you guys next time. 
Thank you all for watching and staying tuned. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned some amazing things that people can do. And as always, leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're new. We're out. We're all out. All right, Jimmy. Uh, oh, the lot to the outro music. Okay, Jimmy. Hey, listen, man. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Uh, yeah, you can head out. I'll pay you later. I don't really have cash right now. I'm sorry. I'm so. I know. I know. I know. Your your wife. I get it. I get it. But I'll I'll pay you later. I promise. And everything will be good. And uh, thank you for coming in, though. I really appreciate it. Dude, I do. I appreciate. Hey, I appreciate. Jimmy, listen. I'm not. A just needed something to me I can show you my world We can go through it all